Apple Pear Dessert. Well, hello. What we're doing today is another dessert, another plantain dessert. So what do you think I can make with three apples, two pears, and two plantains? Well, what we're going to be doing is making two different desserts. So one of these plantains is not going to be used. Now, these plantains are not bananas. It's important to know that. But these plantains are very, very ripe. You can tell because when you touch them, you can feel the that they give it they give you a little bit like this one it's giving a lot so the apples are just standard normal or ordinary apples these are Fiji apples if you remove the little stickers from them it takes a few seconds you know the farmers I'm sure it's not the farmer the grocers to put this on so they can protect every one of their apples okay and the pears are fresh pears I got all of this at my local, I got the, the um, plantains at the 99 Ranch Market, a Chinese grocery. I got the uh, Kiwiji apples and the pears at Stater Brothers grocery store, my local grocery. All right, this is going to be an IP meal. In other words, it's going to be cooked in the pressure cooker. So let me get that set up for you and uh, we'll see what I can come up. Come and watch. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Everything you need to know about pears by Megan Ware, RDNLD, last updated Friday, 5th January 2018. Pears are mild, sweet fruit with a fibrous center. They are rich in important antioxidants, flavonoids, and dietary fi fiber, and they packed all of these nutrients in a fat-free, cholesterol-free, 100-calorie package. What is the health benefit of Fuji apples? Apples are extremely rich in important antioxidants, flavonoids, and dietary fiber. The phytonutrients and antioxidants in apples may help reduce the risk of developing cancer, hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. This article provides a nutritional profile of the fruit and its possible health benefits. Now step one is to turn on the power. That little beep tells you the power is on. Plus you have an indicator on light that says on. Remove the lid. Make sure that you have your steamer inside with the little knob here removed. It seems for me, it's easier for people to pull it out, but I want that extra space. Now go to your sink and just wash your apples. and your pears. Okay, now get a cutting board. I'm gonna use a cutting mat. The next thing you need to do is you need to get an apple core. You could say that this is the fun part. You're gonna take your apple and you're gonna flip upside down. Now, you could do this several ways. But for this particular recipe I'm making, you want to core this out. So you take your apple core, which is basically a peeler, by the way. This thing is useless as a peeler. Maybe the better quality ones are better at peeling, but not this one. You need these sharp blades here. Usually these are serrated blades. They're not sharp. Anyway, so this would be better if the apple had been more like this. So we'll start with this one. You poke it in all the way to the end and it takes practice. And you want the hole big enough so that you can put your secret ingredient in. You see this one, so, okay, so you go on the other side and you do the same thing. You use these, the teeth here to saw off the edges of you. Okay. And what you are trying to do, I don't know if you can see that, you want to make sure that the center is gone. So here I can see it. I just have to dig a little bit more, make sure that 
the core of the apple is not in there. You don't want any part of that core. You don't want any part of the hard edges. Okay, I'm just gonna show you one apple first. All right, then you take a pear. You twist this thing off, the stem, or you can cut it off. I'm gonna use my $2 knife, my copper knife. Oh, the pear's perfect. And you're gonna chop up the other end too. And then you're gonna slice it in half. And you can't, you can try to core these things out, but you're gonna be putting this inside the apple. So you might as well just cut it in quarters and take off the center of the pear. That pear, the center of the pear doesn't taste good. And what you're gonna do next is you are going to cut it in slices like this, and you're going to try to fill it in with as much as possible with the pair of pieces inside of the center, like that. Okay, the next stop, the last time I showed you this, I just put in raisins. This time we're putting in pears and we're putting in another little treat infused with pomegranate juice and these are craisins dried cranberries. And they're brand new, also obtained at our local grocery store. And because they have a sealy, big sealable, I try to cut just a little bit above the bag so I can go back and reseal it. We're not gonna use this entire bag. So you don't contaminate the entire bag. You could just put a few in what you're going to do is you're just going to stick these in. Not that many, just a few. It'll be like a, an additional little taste. Flip it around. You're filling in the void, basically. Okay? All right. Now on the bottom, just make sure it's all in there. And you can add a little bit of a hole here on the top because you're going to add something else to it. Then you take your apple and you put it inside your pressure cooker. All right, so just watch me do it another one. We'll use an apple that's a little bit better, kind of. And so you're just going to take your, and you're gonna make it a little bit bigger hole this time. Just go all the way through. Now there are machines that make this a lot easier. Especially if you decide that you like this, this type of, of dessert and you wanna make it often for your family, it might be worthwhile to do that. But if you don't have the money, this works too. Now some people have very good knife skills and they're able to do this. This is a fishing knife, a fillet knife. They can maneuver, <laughs> well, obviously you can see that I have a long way to go. So we're just gonna saw it from the top. But they can maneuver their knife so that it, it cuts exactly what they want. And you know, with all knives, it just takes time to learn. So you can push it through, maybe not. <laughs> and then you're gonna have to go back on the other side, see where you're at. Now if you do do this, do be careful of where your fingers are at, or where your palm is at. You don't wanna end up having a problem, which is probably why they use these things, which are not very, okay, we're gonna go all the way through, not very sharp, so you kind of know where approximately it is. Okay, now this is a much bigger hole. I did that on purpose so I could show you something else. So if you turn out you really, really like this, this flavor, you can put more pear in it. You're not limited to just putting a sliver in like I did with the first apple. Okay. Then when you have to go inside, you have to make sure you get all of the core out. It does make a little bit of a mess, but it does work. It doesn't look very pretty right now. All right, so over here, you take your, use your fillet knife if you wanted to. You have to make sure that all of the, of the center, the core of the, Pear is removed. The reason why it's bitter. Okay, so we're just gonna lay it like that. I'm gonna 
grab the other piece and then put it inside. I'm going to slice off the top. Okay, I'm just going to stick this piece here that's left over and squish it in. Then we're going to take our craisins, put a few on the top around the sides here and we're just gonna push it in with our fingers it's kind of, you're basically destroying the pear on the other side you have a lot of pear you're just gonna fill it in with your craisins and you can push it in a little bit on this side this is the side that you want you want this to be more flat on this side you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it over here all right and we're going to do one more apple. I'm going to be quiet so I can fast forward this. Okay, the secret ingredient is not cranberries. It's actually orange marmalade. So in the other dishes that I've made, I've used kumquat dressing, raw kumquats. Today I'm making it something easier. Since a lot of people don't have kumquats, don't know what they are, but they do know what orange marmalade is. Now this is not a really good quality orange marmalade. It probably has more jam than marmalade than actually orange skins, but it'll work fine. Okay, it's a little hard to open. Gotta pop the lid. Okay, that's how you know it's fresh. You're not gonna need much. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a tablespoon. See how you can see all the marmalade on the top? And you're going to put it in the center. And it can be definitely overflowing. Because you don't mind if it falls into on the apple. That was my dishwasher. Okay, now this is like a quick dessert. Can easily feed, feed three people. My wife loves these things. Okay, so like that. Doesn't take long to cook apples in the Instapot. So the next thing, put on the lid back on. Oh, we forgot the, mo the most important ingredient is water. Minimum amount of water you can put in here is a cup and a half. Minimum. You can put in more if you feel uncomfortable. We're going to pour it in the water and you don't want to pour it on top of your apples. You don't want to dilute that. What the marmalade that you put on top. Okay, now put the lid on. Some days I can put this thing on instantly. Okay, make sure that the sealer valve is in the middle. Okay, now we're going to set it up. So we're going to press manual. That's how you start it. We're going to bring it down to one minute. There's net plus and minus buttons. I'm going down. So I'm going. I'm using the minus buttons. Now it's going to turn itself on, which starts the, the process in a few seconds. It will take five minutes to come to pressure, and then. 
it will do the one minute and then we're gonna fast vent it I'll show you how that's done so I'll see you in a little bit and show you the fast venting so what do you do with those little pieces that are left over well you eat them I mean that's your treat especially these little slices of there's nothing wrong with them mm. Apples here. Yeah. Turning brown because I didn't put any in this. Just like potatoes. If you don't put lemon juice on your pot on your apples, or put them away right away in the fridge, they turn brown. Just oxidation, no big deal. And now we're just gonna grab everything here. I mean, if I had a compost pile, that's where it would go. bring it all the way to my garden because my garden is several miles from here and it doesn't work. Alright so it's just from here on the reason you put this in the bowl it's gonna go back in the bag it's not contaminated. If you thought you contaminated I would eat this. We got this for a really good deal like a, a little close out. I think we paid a dollar for it. Well there's no price on it but these are really good, especially in uh, your breakfast cereal. Okay, so I thought I was going to use two pairs, but I didn't, so I'm going to put this one away. I'll probably use it in my breakfast cereal, and I'll eventually show you what that looks like. Okay, then from here, you just clean up your tools while your, your uh, Instapot's coming back, coming to pressure. This is a good time to clean up the kitchen. Remember to use the soap and water with your knives and don't put your knives in your dishwasher. It dulls them. It damages the uh, this part over here, the mount of the knife. You can get away with something like this because, you know, it's just basically shoved in here with two pieces. But you shouldn't try, you shouldn't put your really good quality knives or any good knife in the dishwasher. All right. So as soon as the IP came to, the timer gave me an indication. And so I turned it off like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fast vent it. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Now you could do this with a towel or you could just simply use something like this, a spatula, and just hold it down. You're releasing the steam from the pressure cooker until the lock comes off. The lock will physically drop. You'll hear a noise like click. There, there it went. Now we're going to pick up, move the lid. Okay, when you pick it up, allow the juices from the lid to fall inside. That way nobody gets burnt. And move the lid to a safe area. Now to pick up these apples, you have to use like scissor thongs. Okay, so I could, came up with this instead. Pick them up and then move them to your plate. Get yourself a fork. Just to check doneness. Yeah, it's a little hard. This one, if it goes in perfectly, though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the other one. So maybe it needs that could have used. I guess it depends on the size of the apples. The other apples I did were much smaller. These are much bigger. Okay, so then you take your your two dollar knife that you got. Okay, 
at the 99 cent store. I don't know if you have that in your area, but we have these stores everywhere. And then you open it up. Oh, and I can already tell. So this is what it would look like. So you see it dropped a little bit of its equations behind. Now when you're serving it, you'll serve it in its own plate. Say something like this. And then before you you pass it on to the person. You have a couple of choices. You can either put on some more marmalade, or you can just sprinkle a very little bit amount of organic agave nectar. And then when you open it up, it'll look like this. Another way you could do it too, is you can open it up like I showed you. You can just pour it a little bit. You don't need much, because you already have the uh, marmalade on inside. So that's who would be your presentation for your dessert. Now let's see what it tastes like. So we're going to take a piece of the apple and the pear. And take a both of them. Of course, they're going to be hot, so we're going to have to do this carefully. And the apple is still a little bit crunchy, which is the way I like it. But the infusion of the pear and the cranberries gives it a very nice flavor. And this might be another one of those desserts where you can bring this up to your guest as something unique. Totally 100% vegan and very, very healthy for you. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.